Hello everybody, I am back at UK Games Expo 2021 and I have came to the Sealcast booth to have a look at what could possibly be the future of our industry. I am joined by Ferran, did I get it right? Yes, very right. <laughs> and we are going to have a look at their new way of creating miniatures. So Ferran, can you take us through exactly what you guys do? Yes, yeah, so at Sealcast we have developed a new process for manufacturing miniatures. It's a new technology that it's a mixture between injection molding and silicon uh, in silicon rubber molds mm -hmm. that we will be using from spin casting old technologies. Mm -hmm. And it's a technology that it's being uh, in the two years that we've been in the market adopted by the biggest manufacturers in the industry and also for very small studios mm -hmm. for any small, medium or la very large production runs. Now, one of the best one known ones for me that I've seen recently that you guys have teamed up with would be the folks over at Infinity. Are there any other ones that people would really know? Yes, there are lots of companies already using the technology since we released. Uh, some of the names are not uh, public, but some others, yes, and um, we'd like to explain that one of the highest level sculpting co companies in the world, like uh, uh, Critter Caster, also Broken Anvil Miniature is going to use the technology. Uh, Big Child is also a super studio in Spain that is uh, switching from resin casting to CO cast and uh, other companies that are really, really into high volume productions. Very cool. Now, one of the things we were talking about off camera is the fact that CEOcast is quite an eco-friendly technology, yes? Yes, definitely. We have produced a system that is able to manufacture uh, without a waste. Uh, the, the material that we use, it's a, it's a thermoplastic, it's uh, recyclable, and it can be reused in the process, and it has all the certificates for toy safe industry. Mm -hmm. It also is able to generate local jobs. Our customers are really happy because they don't have to outsource uh, products in China, for example, that are creating a lot of CO2 during the transport. And uh, it's uh, more and more uh, the, this mindset of trying to make the, the products locally, reducing your carbon footprint, what it's uh, also helping CO gas to get adopted. Uh, besides, of course, the, the qualities and the level of detail that you get, that it's uh, completely awesome. Now, this is one of the key things. It's a new technology, and I'm sure there is much, much more that can be done with it. But what we're seeing so far is gorgeous. Now, if we move across a little bit, yeah. uh, there is a large miniature here that I would love for everybody at home to get a nice close look at. Have a look at this. What are we looking at here? Yes, here are, we're looking at one of Yedado's model's uh, uh, biggest dragons. Everything is made in CO cast, from the body to the miniature. And this is like a showing uh, that the technology is not only very productive for a small miniature, for board games or uh, infantry in the 15 mil sector, but also for high level, ultra detailed, uh, sculptor's detail uh, products. And the, um, this model has been on the market for several years, uh, two years, and the acceptance and the quality you get, it's totally uh, the same level of resin standard and toxic process, okay? Very, very cool. Now, is there any chance we could actually see the process in operation? Yes, of course. This is why we came to the exhibition, to be able to show the, to the rest of the public and manufacturers uh, how our technology can really changing already the, the market. Okay, excellent. If you wouldn't mind walking us through the steps, of what you do. So we begin yeah. with our mold? Yes, we begin with our mold. This is the, this is the, the base uh, of, the, of the process. Our company, CEO Cas, it's a, it's a spin-off of our um, industrial group, which is called Cognex. This is our core business, manufacturing silicon. And um, this is a high-performance silicon rubber that uh, has been designed specially for this application. It's a similar silicon than spin casting for white metal. And, uh, but it's a really performing uh, silicon. It will last over 300 to 500 castings. Impressive. And will copy all the details that the masters used. And here, in order to demonstrate the technology, we have miniatures, but we have also created like a token with the UK Games Expo logo, so that people can understand that this technology may be for very big production, but also um, single release, single events production, where you simply design the part, you 3D print the masters, you make the molds, and in two, three days, you are at an industrial manufacturing scale. So. Right. Uh, one quick question. So, is this a standardized size of mold or can you go bigger? Well, the size is the standard, but you can go bigger in thickness in order to make parts up to 40 millimeters in, in size. Do you want Very to see cool. how it costs? Please, go right ahead. So, how do we begin? Well, this is a really compact machine. Um, this is what you would need, the space for having your factory. And the, uh, you simply need to put the, the mold into the machine. 
um, the machine will store over 15,000 recipes. Uh, the recipe of this coin is already stored in here. And you want to press the green button? Oh, I get to make something. Yeah. Okay, I am going to make a thing at UK Games Expo. So, so now, how long does the the process take from now till finish? Well, the injection process is on. Uh, now we are only in the cooling state. It will take, uh, depending on the thickness of the part, between 20 seconds to 40 seconds, one minute if it's very thick. And uh, and we are okay. So one. Are, are we done? Are we? Or is this showing us how we're going? It's done. It's done. It's already done. Okay, that was super speedy. So. Cool. Now we, uh, you can touch it a little bit hot. Uh, uh, I feel that heat, that thermal plastic. Yeah. Now the plastic is already solidified. We are just waiting some seconds to, to cool it down. And in the meantime, we are going to cast another more. Okay, awesome. So what are we going to make with this one? This is the one of the miniatures we were looking at. This is, a, this is an elf. It's from Enigma Miniatures. They are really amazing sculpts. And simply, we go again. We select the recipe. That's it. And so it's just plug and play, put it in, put your recipe in, and yes. tell it to mold. Yes, of course. There is a learning curve, and when we supply a technology, we, we supply it as a turnkey solution. We supply the machines, the accessories, we supply the, the resins, we supply the resins, and we supply also the training. We do several day training course, so we explain how, every, how everything works from the machine operation, the machine maintenance, and also the training of how to make the molds, which is the, the core business of the, of the company. Very cool. Now I'm seeing you're doing multi-color okay. in your resins as well? Yeah. Yes, you can, you can change the color of the resin. Standard, standard gray would be normal, but we can design and we can make custom colors. And we have released the yellow, green, blue, light gray, White is amazing. You can paint the miniatures, and they, it's like painting a white paper. Um, you want to see how the money is that uh, the coins were made? Yeah, let's see how we turned out. And here we are, our finished product. So we have some UK Games Expo coins. Very, very cool. Yeah, and you can see this is the machine. They're still just a little bit warm to the touch, which is very cool. And you can see the logos with extreme detail, very, very fine letters. That's very impressive. And I'll assume our other mold is now complete. Yeah. This mold is already done. We let it cool a little bit on the machine. And wow. You can see how eight miniatures were made it's under just one minute. And I assume if you had multiples of the same mold, you could just production line it. So mold goes in, punch it, pull it out, set that to cool, yeah. set your next in. Yeah. You could get some high volume going with this. Yes, you do high volume at the highest level of quality that you expect in any collector's uh, resin cast miniature. That is very impressive. Everybody, I hope you like what you're seeing here. If you're perhaps a company that is considering moving to this uh, technology and you're coming to the expo, make sure and come in and check it out. And even if you're a gamer who's wondering about the technology and wondering what you'll get as a final product, this is where you're going to come if you're coming to UK Games Expo this weekend. Ferran, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for coming. We will see you later.